This next tutorial is building a layout using a scrap map. Um, I downloaded this from scrapmaps.com. The link is on the blog. Go ahead and drag it over to your Zara and bring it in. Once you've done that, move it to the side and go into your zoom to image, which is the, the magnifying glass that has a square around it right here. Once you've done that, it'll bring it all into view for you. And click on the gray to release the select tool. And this is what you're going to build your, your layout on. And the white rectangles in the front represent your photos. And there's three background colors that represent um, overlapping background papers and just kind of add some interest and it really makes it easy when you're first learning. So go to your rectangle tool and click on that and we're going to try to mimic the rectangles that are in the scrap map and we do that just by dragging and pulling and you just guess a little bit. I'm going to use this blue as the dark gray. So I've got a sidebar there and I'm going to just click on that, bring another rectangle in, go ahead and overlap it and pull it over. Uh, I'm going to bring it down to about there. And if you want to adjust these rectangles, you can always go back to your selector tool that's the little arrow and then click on your rectangle and you can drag them down these little squares around it are called handles so you can grab onto any of those and move it around any way you'd like the corners will keep the dimensions for you and just enlarge and decrease so move those around to whatever you feel comfortable with it doesn't have to match this completely it's just a guide to help us um, once you've done that, go ahead and import a couple more papers. Again, I'm using Shabby Princess Wonderful Kit from the shabbyshop.com. And I'm going to import this green. And go ahead and drop it and delete it, just like we did in the first tutorial. And I'm going to bring in one more paper. I think I'll use the stripes. Drag it in. Drop it and delete it. Go ahead and reduce that. And now all you do is click on your paper rectangle that you've made, or right now it's just a rectangle, and then you click on the paper that you want to use. I'm going to put the stripe in the corner and click on fill again. So we're going to fill it, and then I'll click on this bigger rectangle and click on the green and again press fill. Now the green paper is overlapping the stripes and I want it behind the stripes so all you have to do is go up to arrange and click on that and scroll down to move backwards and let's see there we go Another uh, quick thing that you can do is press Control or Shift Control B and I'll move it back one layer. Control B will move it all the way back to the very back layer. So it'll move it behind this blue paper. The same works for moving it forward. Shift Control F is to move it forward one layer at a time. Control F is to move it all the way to the front. So that's a simple thing to remember and at first I didn't use it when I started with Zara but now I use it all the time. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the outlines off of these papers. They have the same issue that we had with our first tutorial. They've got this black outline that we don't want. So I'm just going to take my selector tool and I'm going to outline around both of those objects and then go down to my set no color tool which is that little 
crisscross button and I'm going to right click with my mouse and go to clear line again so once you do that you don't have the lines um, now I'm going to make the rectangles for my pictures and you just guess on those Let's say start with the big ones and move over like I said it doesn't have to be perfect or it doesn't have to perfectly match the scrap map this is just kind of a guide and once you do that you've got all those in go to your selector tool and now you don't have to have an outline around your picture boxes I like to put a white outline but you can always go down to the select no color tool and delete the, the outlines on those as well but I'm going to go down to my white color and I'm going to right click on that and a menu comes up and I'm going to click on set line color oops I didn't select an object so this is what happens with that so I'm going to tell it to be quiet but to select your objects just use your selector tool and surround the objects don't surround your papers make sure it's just below your papers but select your your photo boxes and then right click on the white and click set line color and now you have little white lines but I want those to be bigger white lines so I'm gonna go up to the set line tool which says 0 0.67 pixels right now and I'm going to change that to say 8 pixels and this is really just a matter of choice how big or thick you want your line it's really just up to you and there it gives me nice thick white lines which reminds me of old time photographs and from there I'm going to import some pictures I've chosen a few active pictures of my little boy so go ahead and drag those and drop them into Zara and delete them and they end up in your bitmap gallery just like everything else so I'm just gonna import a couple of those and delete it's good ahead of time to pick out what pictures you want to use otherwise you could spend a really long time sifting through your photos okay I'll go ahead and reduce at this point you don't need your scrap map anymore so you can delete it and it'll kinda clean up this workspace for you and then just scroll down in your bitmap gallery to find your photos click on the box that you want the pictures to go into I'm going to just start filling them like we did with our papers but you fill them with your photos instead um, let's see we'll get the action shot right there all right as you can see they're not placed in the photos quite where you know you might want them here he's not even on the photo page and to adjust this you just click on the particular box that you want to adjust the photo go over here to the fill tool it's that little let me do that again it's that little paint bucket under the T click on that and you're given two lines and with those two lines there's three handles one at each end of the arrows and then one where they meet together and where they meet together you just click on that with your mouse and move your photo over the end handles can be used to enlarge your photo or to shrink your photo you can play around with that you can also use it to rotate your photo but I'm just going to 
try to get it as straight as I can and then move him over so it's centered. And you can do that with all of them, all of your pictures, and get some really interesting effects that way. This one I could even zoom in just so it has that part of him. And the center one, oh. just zoom a little bit. And now you've added all of your photos with scrap map to help you along the way for designing. You can adjust any of your papers, zoom into them, you know, do whatever you want to make it yours. And that's the end of step two, setting up your layout.